Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to do a very quick video to show you how to get Transfuser working in Studio One with separate outputs. Now, Transfuser is a very, very cool loop-based instrument, and if you've not seen it before, go and check out some videos on it. It's, it's very, very useful and very, very powerful. And I've just made up a four-part loop, and you can have a listen to it now. <laughs> Now normally when you want to get separate outputs in Studio One, you would come to the left hand side here to the instrument and you'd expand that and it would show you all the separate outputs. So what we could do, we go tick, 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 we've got four outputs here. Then I could go here to the output bus, one, two, three, four. There we go. Now I play that again. <laughs> and we still don't have our separate outputs. The reason for that is this very simple setting that you need to make sure you've done. Click the wrench icon here, and you'll see optional augs out, and we click that on. Now if we play it, now if you hit the, uh, the channels, you can see them all coming through. And then you can add effects uh, or bust them or bounce them however you, however you want. So that is how you set up Transfuser, including separate outputs in Studio One. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.